is going on guys? Long time no see. Uh, but I think this past week was the first week I actually did not upload at all. Um, I guess I did put out um, two shorts, but uh, as far as like long term or long form content, uh, I just, I did not have a chance this past week to sit down and film anything. Um, I had my wife's grandma flying from Florida. She was staying with us for like a week and um, just, yeah, just nothing but craziness since Easter. So it is what it is. Um, it was kind of nice to take a small little uh, break, if you will, but uh, definitely nice to also sit back down and get back to it because I'm definitely getting backed up on some things. Um, so that is what this video is going to be about is some mail calls. Um, and then we are going to take a look at some customs that I'm definitely far behind on showing. Uh, one of them was for my buddy Curbs. Um, so please go check out his video where he received my mail call because he opened up the special custom that I made for him. It turned out really cool, but you'll see this at the end of this video. And then um, I also have two more customs that I'm going to be showing off as well. Um, they are going to be separate videos at the end of this. Um, it's not filmed in all one take. It's going to be Curbs custom first, and then it's going to go into the other two customs, one of which is a cut, like the, um, the custom that I had for sale, but it actually already sold. <laughs> I know, guys, I know. Didn't even really get a chance to show you guys just yet until the end of the video, but um, I go um, into more detail in the end of the video um, explaining why and how it sold so fast before I even had a chance to um, show it to you guys. But um, I'm actually planning on doing um, like a batch of customs next, maybe three or four of them, actually, well, um, three of them. Um, that way it'll give you guys a little bit more of a chance, but um, I'll go into that again in later detail. I don't wanna keep rambling on here. Um, got some stuff I gotta show and get open here, so we're just going to get to it, but just wanted to let you guys know that there will be a couple custom videos at the end of this one. So, um, first and foremost, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys, judging by my thumbnail, and some of you guys already know, but um, my lucky streak still continued um, this past week. Uh, I stopped Friday at my local Walmart and really wasn't much put out, but they did have new Matchbox moving parts and I somehow stumbled upon the Super Chase, which is basically, if you guys do not know, this is Matchbox um, answer to Super Treasure Hunt. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, just as far as the packaging and just the overall, don't get me wrong, this thing is awesome looking. It's right up my alley, JDM, stuff like that. Super cool. Um, I just don't care for the packaging and I'll be honest, like just, I don't know guys, call me bust, whatever, but um, I just, I've always just really liked Hot Wheels more than Matchbox and Matchbox never really appealed to me that much and I just don't really want to dive down that rabbit hole. So. I actually ended up trading this one away. Uh, me and my buddy Angel, he comments a lot on my videos. Uh, he actually won one of my 500 subscriber giveaway cars. We uh, we are working out a trade as we speak. So um, he said that he's after all the super chases. So figured I would help him out. So this is actually not staying in my possession very long. But yeah, I mean, still pretty cool and still goes to show that my luck is still continuing. No idea why, how, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> so yeah, but anyways, the main point behind this is to crack open some mail calls here. So we're going to get right into it. The first one we're going to be doing is from the man, your redeemable. Uh, I definitely owe him this from a couple weeks ago. Now um, he emailed me and, you know, was asking me if I needed a couple cars and I said I would take a couple for customs and, um, I believe there is a Kroger exclusive in here, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, I don't even need my knife for this one. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see what our buddy Yuri sent us. Again, I apologize, buddy, for um, not getting this open right away. But again, I have just been very, very busy, guys. So let's see what he got in here. So he definitely threw in some extras, I believe. I honestly kind of forget get what oh that is super cool so we're just going to take everything out here what does this say 
Just found this Lucy, hope you like it. If not, then pass it along. So I'm assuming you're talking about that, but we are going to get everything else out here first. Oh, what is that? That's really cool. Alrighty, so. Okay, so there's that, these. Get everything situated real quick here. That is super cool, what is this? Refresh, then recycle. Oh, it's a car, okay. I was gonna say, I was like, what is this? All right, um, so this is from my man Yuri. I'm not gonna say your real name. I don't, you know, I don't know if you care or not. Uh, I know probably some people do, some people don't, but everybody knows you by Yuri. So we will just say you're redeemable. Um, it says, Jake, hope all is well with you and yours. It is, man, just very busy. Um, finally, here's the Kroger exclusive Camaro you've asked for, was hoping to send a Hoping to send a grip more like 2530, only sent the few that you wanted. Also, a barn find custom. The ones for customs, I cut the cards to fit in the small box. Enjoy, buddy. Well, thank you very much, man. And I did see the custom, and I'm really looking forward to checking that out. But uh, yeah, look at this cool card. That is super cool. That like took me off guard for a second. I didn't really realize what it was until I opened it up. So. And that is super cool. So thank you very much for the card, Yuri. I greatly appreciate it, man. And uh, yeah, no big deal. I mean, you def definitely do not have to send me 25, 30 cards. I have more than enough. So this will work perfectly fine. Um, let's check out this Lucy real quick. If I can get the bag open here. There we go. This is definitely up my alley and I will probably be keeping this for the Honda collection. Oh, this is from the Nightburners. That's pretty cool. So this is a 2006 Honda Civic Si. Check that out. That is super awesome. Yellow and red. It says night burners on the side there. So I'm assuming it's probably from a five pack from a while ago maybe, or um, maybe from like the night burner set or like series, um, probably before I got into collecting, I believe. But uh, yeah, I don't have, I think I only have one other version of this. So I will definitely be keeping this. This is going into my personal collection for sure. So thank you very much for that, man. I greatly appreciate it. That's a cool one for sure. Okay, get that stuff out of the way there. So he did send me some stuff for customs here. He sent me a 510 wagon, a Honda Civic Si, and another gasser. You guys have all seen these, but yes, I will be using these for customs. This one, I kind, I kind of want to turn into um, a replica of my 97 Civic that I had, but uh, I don't know when I will get to that. I definitely have quite a bit of stuff to do as far as customs go. I'm actually kind of running behind on doing some stuff, so yeah. Um, and then he did send me two of the four Kroger exclusives. These are really like the only two that I really care for. Um, the first one here is the Porsche 911 GT3. That one's really cool. Both of these will be going up on my wall. Actually, I have two spots right there. Perfect for these. So yeah, that one's super clean on the white and the black. Love that one. But this one was my favorite. I, I just absolutely fell in love with this one whenever I first saw it. And I really wanted to get my hands on it. And luckily, Yuri had an extra one. So he hooked me up with it. It is the 2017 Camaro Zero One. And that thing is super clean. No front or rear tampos. But just that color, just, mm, that color is super good on that. Just like that stormy grayish blue color. Just looks so freaking good. So that is awesome. Thank you very much for those, man. I greatly appreciate it. And then he sent me a barn find custom. So we are going to, okay. Oh, there we go. Check this thing out. I did not realize that you do customs, Yuri. That is really cool. And this is definitely a barn. Oh, I need some, uh, need to get some, some screws on the bottom of that, but this thing is super cool. Oh, that's pretty cool what you did with the headlights there. Definitely a barn find. That is for sure. Check that thing out, guys. And check out those headlights. He actually used, I'm assuming they're like little, um, I guess like little beads or jewels of some sort, like in the middle there. It's very, oh, you can kind of see them sticking out right there. But um, yeah, that looks really cool with the yellow. But yeah, it's all kind of rusted out looking. Got the taillights then up there. Nothing on the base, but yeah. I mean, you just need to slap some screws in this thing, man. You'll be good to go. That is super cool. Nice job on that, man. I will definitely be keeping that one. I will add it to the custom collection. That's my first uh, barn find 
510 in my collection for sure. You did a really good job on that, man. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Nope. Alrighty, so get this stuff out of the way here. And I don't know if I want to open this mail call up or not. Um, just because it is a bigger box, we're already going over 10 minutes. And I know the customs videos are long. So um, this is from my buddy Adam, I believe. Um, he is on Instagram and he does comment a lot on, um, I think, I think his YouTube handle is King Nissan on here. Um, very big Nissan fan. And, uh, speaking of which, if anybody has the Gran Turismo R35 from the newest series, he is actually looking for one. So please hit him up on Instagram or let me know and I will let him know. But he asked me to ask about that for him. So I told him I would, but, um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to hold off, man, on doing this just because this is quite a bigger box here. Definitely sounds like there's quite a bit of stuff in here and I just don't want to drag this video on too long. I hope you understand, but I promise you this is going to be the next mail call that I do, the next video that I do. Like I said, I'm just trying to get caught up with stuff right now, guys. Um, having a week off and things like that. I did get something else really cool though that I will show along with this mail call. Um, I got my first legitimate like diorama and it is super, super cool. So yeah. So again, man, I apologize for that. I did have intentions on doing it, but I think just for the sake of the length of this video, um, we're gonna hold off on it for right now. So um, I'm going to quit rambling here. Uh, thank you very much again, Yuri, for everything that you sent, man. It is greatly appreciated. And um, yeah, never have to feel the need to send me more than just like a couple little things like that. That is perfect. So thank you again, man. I greatly appreciate it. And um, yeah, so we will now take a look at some customs that I recently finished up. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so like I said, got another custom done here and this one was actually for my dude over there in California, Curbs, Kirby, Curbs Garage. Um, he did recently win my drag bus uh, custom and uh, I hit him up because I already was planning on making him a freebie custom so I figured if he was cool with it um, I would go ahead and make him one anyways if he was willing to wait for his package. So hopefully it was well worth the wait. Um, but yeah, so uh, I know he mentioned uh, probably a couple videos ago that about one of his favorite castings. And uh, it was definitely, you know, it wasn't, you know, totally out of the norm. Um, but it was definitely one that I've never done before. And uh, it was definitely a fun one, nothing too crazy, but uh, you know, I'll let you guys be the deciding factor in that. So without any further ado and any more rambling, I will show you guys what I came up with for my man Curbs. So he did mention a while ago that one of his favorite castings was the Mercury Cougar. Um, they are definitely cool cars. They're definitely a little bit different. They definitely stand out a little bit more than just your typical Camaro or Challenger or Mustang. Um, so yeah, this one actually, uh, funny enough, I dug into my collection a little bit and I just ended up taking one of the ones that I had. Um, it probably would have just been one that I would have thrown in a random box anyways, because I am trying to purge out my mainline collection. But uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sacrifice this one and make him a custom so I don't have to buy it. And uh, yeah, so um, I will say right off the bat, the color doesn't come across as good as it does in person. Um, Carbs, I'm sure you will attest to that. But uh, yeah, so anyways, let's just get into it here. Um, did strip it here. Uh, I did leave the, we'll just go from the bottom up here. So. I did leave the chrome on the front and rear bumper there. I did 
um, gloss black paint the bottom of it though. I like doing it this way just because it adds a little bit more realism. If the base isn't already already black, um, I will just go ahead and spray paint it black. That way it looks like the true underneath of a car. Um, as you can see, I did chrome out the um, all the drivetrain and the exhaust there. Got my channel sticker down there as well. And as you can see, this is going to go in a case. So that hole in the middle is for the screw. So there is the bottom of it. Um, then next up, uh, I chose these wheels just because I wanted to do something a little bit different on it. Something not too common, not like a set. I mean, a set of like chrome Kragers would have looked really good, but I think these like kind of multi-spoke chrome wheels look pretty cool on it. Just something a little bit different. And then I did do some, uh, some Goodyear Eagle tires on there with the tire lettering. So I don't do that too often, but I don't know. I just thought on this one, it looked pretty cool. Um, and then as far as, uh, as far as paint goes, I'll see if I can get it to show up a little bit better here for you guys, but it is a, oh uh, yeah, I guess like right there you can kind of see, but even then it still looks darker than it actually is. But, um, his, one of his all time favorite colors is, uh, what he calls eggplant purple. Um, this is not the exact name of this. Uh, I think this is just called like uh, Wicked Violet, if I'm not mistaken. But um, man, it is really hard to get this color to show up good. But yeah, it's it's definitely more of a it's it's way more of a purple than it is like a like a black as it comes across there. Um, you know, just it definitely like in the right lighting. I guess you kind of just have to catch it just right. But uh, trust me, guys, it is purple. So I did it that purple color for him which is his favorite. And then uh, he also mentioned that he is a big fan and supporter of Monster Energy um, because he puts on like this surf skate um, competition thing, like that shirt that I showed you guys that he sent me. That's his own event that he put on and he said that he used to get tons and tons of free monster stuff. So I had more monster decals laying around. So I slapped some on the side there. As you can see, some Monster Energy on the side, put a big one on the roof. I put one on the uh, on the hood scoop there, and then it does say Monster Energy on the back spoiler. And uh, yeah, I did do the headlights and fog lights there. I did the tail lights. The reverse lights are white, um, black for the exhaust, chrome door handles and locks. I did do the um, the fog lights green to complement the monster, and then. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but the roll bar and the seat harnesses in there are all done in, uh, you can kind of see it right back there in the light, but uh, they are all done in a nice, it's so hard to see, in a nice, uh, like the same green color as well. You can kind of see it right there, but yeah, it did have a factory uh, roll bar already in it, so I just painted it green, all to just pull in with the monster uh, logo. Does have a 3D printed steering wheel there with some chrome on it, the shifter's chrome, so. Yeah, I mean, definitely got the works. Need this to say, no 3D parts or anything like that. But uh, yeah, just a nice, simple, fun, uh, like I said, freebie custom for my man Carbs. He's always been a really good supporter of mine. Um, definitely a good friend and uh, just a good all around person in general. I really enjoy his videos. He definitely has quite the sense of humor sometimes and definitely a really, really awesome collection. So please go check him out and show him some support and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, custom Mercury Cougar that I got finished up for him. Definitely think it turned out pretty cool. Definitely something a little bit different too. So nothing wrong with that. All right guys, so like I just previously mentioned, got a couple more customs finished up. Um, one of them being uh, the one that I was going to plan on selling and I will get into that whenever I show it, but I have another one here that I'm going to show off. It's nothing too crazy. Um, essentially, it is for a buddy of mine that I know in real life here. Um, <laughs> uh, his name is Josh. He actually has a Miata and he picked up a second one of those modern classics um, Miatas that just came out in the dark green. And uh, I was like, dude, I can make your car for you if you want. And uh, he was like, sure, man. So this is what I came up with here. There she is. So it is a very clean and simple build. Um, his Miata, there is not much done to it. Um, 
I think I believe it is mostly stock if I'm not mistaken um, but yeah so he gave me one to do for him and I will throw up a couple pictures throughout here so you guys can get the gist of what I was going after here you guys can let me know if you think that I nailed it or not I think I came very close to it um, but yeah essentially I just stripped the paint there and his is like a dark blue metallic so that is the color I went with. This is not airbrush. Um, this is actually spray paint. This is actually the same color I used on that Freedom Gaster I did last year for Rodney. Um, it was very close to the color of his car. This is probably a little bit lighter um, than his, but it was the closest one I had. So I think it still turned out really, really good. And then um, these wheels were the closest that I could find to match the wheels that he has on his car. Uh, these are a nice set of like two-piece alloy wheels. So these wheels are a dream to work with guys, especially for slamming cars. Um, as you can see, that is what I did for this. I definitely slammed it down and it still rolls very, very nicely. Um, definitely a lot easier than rear riders. That is for sure. Um, but yeah, so I threw on those nice set of wheels because those look very close to the ones that he has. And, um, yeah, I was uh, under the impression that I swear somebody made water slides for these, but um, the only ones I could find were for the new body style of them, like the new generation Miata. So I just went ahead and hand painted them all and um, they came out pretty good. Um, I am very pumped on how the taillights came out. Um, we will get a closer look at those here. So as you can see, I got the amber turn signal and then there's like a little middle like bulb that is kind of like, like a red section that's a little bit lighter in the middle of them. And then um, the reverse light, the reverse lights are in the middle of like, I guess like the brake lights there or whatever. So yeah, I'm really, really stoked on how, um, I apologize, it's a little bit dark on how those taillights came out, especially for being hand painted. Um, like I said, I've definitely gotten better at doing it. Um, and then, yeah, I just added a little Japanese license plate there because he is a big fan of JDM cars and whatnot. And then uh, the third brake light. And then these two um, parts right here in the trunk are just chrome because those are where the badges would go. So I just chromed those out. There's the front there. You got like the little marker lights or whatever. And then I did like the side markers as well. And then the door handles I did chrome. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, and then the window trim, they actually painted the window trim on these. Um, it was that dark green color, so I actually had to hand paint the window trim up there to match the rest of the car, but that came out pretty good too. Wasn't really anything too crazy. And then the interior, um, I did just leave tan because his is tan and he had one shot kind of overlooking the top of the car. And I noticed that like the center console and stuff and like the whole back of it, his does not have a roll cage though. His obviously has the soft top to it. Um, so I just went ahead and blacked out the roll cage and everything in the back there and then blacked out like the center console and everything. Um, this does have like that God awful molded steering wheel thing. So there was really nothing I could do. I definitely would have liked to put a 3d printed wheel in there, but with how hot wheels does that, um, there is just no way of doing it. So yeah. Oh, well, I did some gauges up there um and then i just did this it does have just seat harnesses on the um, on the driver's seat there so i just did those black with some chrome um buckles in there did the shifter chrome so again nothing too too crazy here i did detail the uh the bottom of it just some suspension stuff um and then the exhaust and then obviously it has my channel logo down there so and then um yeah so all in all, I think, oh, look, there you go, see? Told you it still rolls pretty good. Um, yeah, all in all, um, like I said, just a very simple, clean build. Um, nothing too crazy, but I am very, very happy with how it came out. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to give it to my buddy Josh to show him. Um, I'm sure he's definitely gonna be pumped on it. And uh, yeah, so there is a Miata that I got finished up. First time ever doing one. Definitely fun little cars to do. So we will move this one to the side here. And then I will show you guys what I came up with for my next, uh, my next custom that I, um, I was planning on selling. 
<laughs> and um, I hate to break it to you guys, but it actually sold before I even had a chance to show you guys on here. So I will get into that here whenever we throw the car on here though. And uh, the car that I chose, uh, I wanted to do something a little bit more appealing to um, some of you guys. So I went to the American Muscle route and I chose to do a 1981 Chevy Camaro. And there she is in all of her uh, 80s glory, if you will. <laughs> so um, I had a couple different castings picked out. Um, and I was actually asking a couple people's opinions, like, oh, I don't know which one I should do. And, uh, everybody was saying that the Camaro definitely would be a heavy hitter and a lot of people would definitely like, um, you know, it would definitely appeal to a lot of people. So that's the one I chose. And like I've mentioned before, this is actually my favorite generation and body style of Camaro. Um, for sure. <clears throat> I've always liked these things, but, uh, yeah. And then. I don't know why I got the idea in my head, but um, I just, you know, you always just see them like a regular color. You really never see them too done up. So basically I just was like, you know what would look really cool is like how back in the day they would just make the front end completely white and then the rest of it would be like black or another color. That's kind of my inspiration for it. This is not based off of any car that I actually saw. And I was like, I'm definitely going to put some flames on this thing, though, because you definitely need flames on an old school muscle car. So I got these um, decals from Mod My Ride there. Uh, they are like a light blue with like a hot pink um, outline on them. And it does fade from white to blue. So it definitely kind of matches the paint job there. Um, this is airbrush, though. This was actually my second attempt at fading this. The first time it just, it did not come out that good. And I actually had to fade like starting way back here. And I was like, I wanted to shift it up more towards the front. So I actually ended up stripping it. I did not have any of the decals on it yet, thankfully. But yeah, I ended up stripping it and redoing it. So uh, this was my second try at it. I will say it is not the greatest fade job in the world. Um, it's very hard to fade white into black. So there is a little bit of gray going across there, but it is what it is. Um, it's not like a solid cutoff fade. You know, it's not just from white to black. It, it actually fades into it like I wanted it to. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> so again, this is nothing too, too crazy. Just again, showing you guys what I'm capable of, what I can do. Um, so we will uh, finish it off here and then I'll explain to you why this is not for sale anymore and who bought it. Um, so again, all of the details are all hand done there. The headlights, the front grille is done. It does have white in the, uh, in the headlights in like the middle part there where the turn signals would be. And then um, did the tail lights there, you got the brake light, turn signals reverse, you got the chrome for the Z28 badge on the back there. Um, and then I just threw on some nice deep dish um, chrome Krager wheels. I just, that's like my all time favorite wheel on muscle cars. It just, they look so good. I did adjust the stance a little bit on this. I dropped it down s slightly in the front. And I also added some spacers and poked them out right to the edge of the fender there. Um, I just think it looks a lot better that way instead of sitting really and in set into the fender gives it like a nice tough stance there and um, yeah on the bottom here we uh, definitely have some detailing going on there chromed all, all of the suspension there the drivetrain it does have I didn't realize this but it has like the exhaust like really short just headers that just dump out right there underneath like the floorboards so but that was pretty cool so I detailed those out as well channel logo all that jazz did the straps on the back of the gas tank there and then um for the inside i'm sure you guys may have noticed but it does have a built-in roll cage so i chromed that out i did not put that cage in there by any means and then um did i spray paint i don't know i think i don't know i can't remember guys i'm sorry i don't know if the interior was already black i think it was i may have painted it though i cannot remember i apologize but yeah i, uh, I two-toned the seat i just added a weight insert on the seats um it does have a 3d printed steering wheel in there it's got the gauges done up there i actually added some more little gauges down there um, in the middle part where the radio would be shifter um i'm not gonna be able to see it too too well i could just get a glimpse of it there's like a little 
plate looking fuel cell thing down there. So I chromed that out and then um, it also has like a battery on the floor. So I um, did like red and yellow detail for the battery there. So yeah, there's definitely a couple little things in here that you can definitely detail out. But um, yeah, I'm just very, very happy with how it came out. It definitely fits the vision that I had for it. Just like a nice old school 80s muscle car. Um, you know, just something you'd see cruising down for a car meet at night on a Friday night or hitting the drag strip. You know, it definitely has a little bit done to it there. Definitely making some ponies. So, and uh, I just, I love like the, the cow induction hood and stuff like that on it. So I could have probably cut it out and added a motor and all that jazz. But um, again, I just wanted to keep it relatively simple for now. We'll get into like the, the more crazy stuff later on. But um, anyways, so there it is. And like I said, this actually is sold already so i apologize to you guys if you guys really like this um but actually fern c reached out to me again and asked to see pictures of it i sent him a couple pictures and he just he said sold on the spot no questions asked which was awesome of you fern i greatly greatly appreciate it man um it definitely helps boost my confidence now that i'm selling these things before i even get a chance to show them but um do not fret guys um you know, I, I did not expect to sell two customs very quickly like this. So what I am planning on doing next is probably making a batch of either three or four of them. That way, a couple of you guys, if if you want to or if it's something you're interested in, um, we'll have a chance at getting, um, you know, something. Or if you like this, I can definitely make another one of these as well. Like I said, I just think that this would appeal to a little bit more people. Um, the next cars that I plan on doing is probably going to be the JDM route. Um, I did pick up a couple of those red EG Civics, which I've never customized before. So I do have enough of those. So I could make like three, four, maybe even five of them. Um, so yeah, that is kind of what I am planning on doing next. We will see. Um, I definitely have some other things to take care of first. And uh, like I said, I wanted to start out slow doing this, but um, again, huge shout out to Fern for uh, just, you know, jumping on it right then and there. Um, I greatly appreciate it, man. And uh, yeah, I told him as soon as I got done filming and got what I needed out of this, it would be packed up and shipped off to him. So yeah, like I said, guys, you know, if this is something you're really interested in and you really like how this one turned out, I can definitely do another one for you. Just let me know. Um, this is not special to Fern. Like I said, this was just one that I made just to throw it out there and definitely pumped with how it came out. So yeah, I will stop rambling on here. And yeah, so let me know what you think about these two awesome customs. Um, definitely two opposite ends of the spectrum there, but they both came out really, really good. And yeah, please hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about each one of these and let me know which one is your favorite. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next episode. Peace.